Hello, welcome to Teaching Bio. Today we're going to look at uncertainty and percentage error in A-level biology. So looking at what we actually mean by uncertainty and error, well this is basically just the difference between the real value and the experimental value um, between sort of readings you've taken. So everything you do will always have a degree of uncertainty to it whenever you take a measurement of something, because you can never be certain that the measurement that you've taken and recorded is the exact real measurement. Everything has a chance of error to it. And we can work out the percentage uncertainty by taking the absolute error and dividing it by the true value. The absolute error in an exam question will be donated by the plus or minus sign. So this is sort of the um, range effectively. So what this basically means is that your recorded value can either be this many sort of digits above or below. So the upper and lower bounds or whatever um, value you've recorded. Sometimes they might not give you the absolute error and they give you the resolution, but you need to be able to recall that half of the resolution will be the absolute error. Okay, so let's get straight on to the calculations. Here's an example. A 0.1 meter object is measured. The absolute error is 0.05. Calculate the percentage error. Okay, so how do we do this? Well, we need to be able to know that the formula is percentage uncertainty equals absolute error over true value. Absolute error is the plus or minus sign. And the true value is the true value. So all we're going to do is we're going to take 0.05 and divide it by 0 0.1. So 0 0.05, 0 0.01, 0 0.1, sorry, and then 0.05 divided by 0.1 times 100 because it's a percentage to get 50%. So the percentage uncertainty is 50%. Okay, here's another question. Again, similar process. We're going to take the absolute error and the true value. Now notice how. This is, however, in centimetres, this is in metres, so we need to get the same units. So we're just going to do some conversions. So we're going to convert 0.3 metres into 30 centimetres, because the actual height was, the, was in centimetres. Now we take the um, absolute error, which was 0.3 metres, 30 centimetres, divide that by the true value, times by 120%. Okay? So again, we need to convert the unit into what the actual measurement was. So as the height was in centimetres, we had to convert the absolute error into centimetres as well. Now sometimes um, in questions, you may be asked of circumstances where you need to take two or more measurements. Okay, So it's the chance of uncertainty when you take two or more, because you might sort of take a reading before and a reading after. And some example scenarios are sort of reading off burettes um, when you're doing titrations, because you'll sort of record the initial volume and the final volume. Thermometers, when you sort of check for temperature change, so the first reading and the last reading, and also balances, so when you check the weight of something before and then you check the weight of it after, um, there will obviously be a difference between the two. So as a result, because you're taking two measurements, you've got to account for two sets of uncertainty, and we do this by timesing by two. So we'll have a look at some example questions now. So here's a question. An object is 0.3 metres in length. This was measured using a 30 centimetres ruler. The absolute error of the ruler is plus or minus 0.4 centimetres. Calculate the percentage of uncertainty. Okay, so let's break this down and sort of get our bearings of this. So because we've used a ruler, there's uncertainty at this end, where we first measure and uncertainty at this end. So always remember, if you use a ruler, there is two chances of uncertainty. Okay, one at the initial and one at sort of the final end. So because of that, we times the absolute error by two, okay? Because there's two sets of error. So we simply take 0 0.5, we times it by two, we get one centimeter. Now remember, the actual thing we measured was in meters. So now we convert one centimeter to meters, which is 0 0.001 meters. And now it's just a simple case of throwing all the numbers into the equation. So 0 0.001, um, meters, which is the absolute error. Remember, it was 0.5. We times it by 2, because we took it at two sets, we convert it to meters, divide by 0.3 meters, which was sort of the true value at the start, times by 100, 0.333% is the percentage of uncertainty. Okay? So the key thing is we times by 2, because we took two measurements. And what did we times by 2? We times the absolute error by 2. Okay, again, here's another question we're going to do. The mass of a ball is 500 grams and has an uncertainty of plus or minus 5 grams. The volume of the ball is 0.4 meters cubed and it has an uncertainty of 0.2 centimeters cubed. 
calculate the overall percentage uncertainty. So let's pick apart the numbers. We've got 500 grams, which has an absolute error of plus and minus 5 grams, and 0.4 meters cubed, which has a plus and minus volume of 0.2 centimeters cubed. And we need to work out the overall percentage uncertainty. So we're going to work out the percentage uncertainty for the mass of the ball and the percentage uncertainty of the volume of the ball. So we're going to take 5 grams, divided by 500, times by 100, 1%. So the uncertainty of the mass of the ball is 1%. Okay. As for the second example, we've got to make sure we convert to the absolute errors units to the units that are the actual measurement, in this case, meters cubed. So 0.2 centimeters cubed is 0.02 meters cubed. And now it's just a case of 0.02 meters cubed divided by 0.4 times 100 to get 5%. Now, because we want the overall percentage uncertainty, we have to slap the two numbers together. So 1 plus 5 is 6. The answer is 6%. That is the overall percentage uncertainty. Okay, here's a third and a bit more of a weirder question, I guess. So it says the mass of an eight-week embryo has an uncertainty of plus or minus 0.5 grams. The volume of the embryo has an uncertainty of plus or minus six micrometers. So let's just say micrometers cubed because it's volume. Apologies. Derive an equation to calculate the overall percentage uncertainty of the embryo. So in this case, we do exactly as before, but with the, num the things that we don't know, we will just use letters to substitute them. Because we need to get an equation, we just break it down, we use what we have. 0.5 divided by whatever the true value will be times 100 plus 6, which is the volume uncertainty, absolute error, sorry, divide that by the true value of the volume times 100 to get the percentage uncertainty. And then we just tidy the equation up. 0.5 over m times 100 plus 6 over v times 100 equals percentage uncertainty. And you can rewrite this in many different ways to make it even simpler, as long as you get the gist, which is an equation. I don't think they would ask anything like this, but this is the weirdest way I could possibly think of them asking um, this. And AQA love to ask things in wonderful and weird ways. So I wouldn't put anything past them. Okay, so now how about when we need to work out the absolute error? So these are the plus and minus numbers. What if they don't give us that and they give us something like this? Well, we need to recall that the absolute error is half the resolution. So based on whatever sort of IP scraticule and stage micrometer piece thing they can give you, you need to work out the resolution, and the resolution in this case is 1, because that's the distance between two points on there. You know that half of the resolution is the absolute error. That is the cardinal statement to remember for these kind of questions. So we take half of 1, which is 0 0.5. There's no really units here, because it doesn't really matter. This is just arbitrary for now. So how do we work out the absolute error? We half the resolution. Absolute error, half the resolution, half of 1 is 0.5. Now, we're going to chuck this into a question. So let's say they give you something to measure. So it says that the diagram shows a stage micrometer where each division is five micrometers. In case each division here will represent five more micrometers. The resolution is one, and use this to calculate the percentage of uncertainty. So this is the most likely sort of question I think they will ask. So how do we work this out? Well, it's just it's straightforward, simple as usual. We work what we've been given with. So we know the resolution is one. We half it, 0 0.5, that's the absolute error. Brilliant. 0 0.5 micrometers is the absolute error. We know the units now because we know we're working with the stage of micrometer. However, remember, we, have, we take two measurements because like the ruler example, we're taking it twice. So we're going to take a measurement here and a measurement here. So there's two chances of uncertainty. So we do 0 0.5 times two to get one micrometer. And now we basically just slap our numbers in this is 4, that's the true value. Um, so the absolute error was 1, the true value is 4, times 100, 25%. So you, so you can pause the video here and take a look at an actual sort of um, exam question that they have used, where they've asked surface area and percentage uncertainty. So pause the video and have a go, and the answer will follow. Okay, and the answer is, so the surface area was 9.85 millimeters squared, or 9.9. .9. Um, and these sort of percentage uncertainties were 11.8 or 12 and 6.70 or 6.7, depending on the way you sort of use significant figures. Okay, next question. 
So pause the video and have a go at this question. Okay, and the answer is 0.18. Remember that we're using, we're weighing something, right? So we're using a balance. So there will be uncertainty here and uncertainty here. So we have to times 0.005 by 2 and then divide that by the difference in this. So the difference in these two will be the, the denominator, the true value, and the numerator will be this times 2. Divide them together times 100, 0.18%. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe.